day 920 I uh, just got off of a call uh, with the manager of the church um, <laughs> God is doing something uh, so yeah I, I talked to him and he was asking how the purpose class was coming along and I was just working on it and um, you know he's like you know after service you know I and he was like, here's the goal. We want to get them to figure out what their God-given gifts are at the end of that class and be able to plug it into a ministry. And he said, what it sounds like, because, you know, I want them to get clear on all these six, you know, pieces of the purpose puzzle. Like, it's super valuable. But what it sounds like is that might actually have to be a separate class where we go in depth on that, like a Monday night or something like that. And I was like, yes, that's perfect. It would be so much better, you know, if I could, like come to the church on Monday nights or something and, and teach a, a group of people, you know, the next purpose puzzle. And we do that, you know, once a week, every Monday is purpose Monday or whatever it is. Um, and then the classes after service, we just do one piece of the puzzle, which are your core gifts. So we'll give them all a workbook and we'll say, okay guys, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get crystal clear on your four core God-given gifts that he gave you. So then you can figure out where you can apply them in the church so you can serve and add the most value, but also have the most fun and enjoy it the most because you're in your natural gifts. And so here's your, your workbook. Here's, uh, we're gonna teach you. And then, um, and but there's six pieces of this purpose puzzle. And so what we do for everyone who wants to get crystal clear on all the other pieces of their purpose, so you can get clear on your purpose, is uh, we do purpose classes every Monday. And so you can bring your workbook and we'll fill out another purpose piece. And, <coughs> ooh, God bless me. And, um, and it could be a separate thing. And, and so he was saying like, I think, you know, it might be better as a separate class because it's so valuable. And I was like, yes, that's it. That's so much better than trying to do each puzzle piece after every service because it's so loud. Like, and yeah, just totally different environment. It's rushed. It's like, you know, there's just like, if I could get them to show up on a Monday when, you know, no one's there and teach the class and, you know, we could be there for a couple hours and really go in depth, like that would be so much better. It'd be so much more impactful and valuable. And so I loved the fact that you said that. It's, it's so crazy because I am humbling myself so much throughout this through this process right now because it's like everything that he said to me about the purpose class so far the old version of me my flesh wants to reject it wants to be like heck no like this is my framework this is how we do it and, and you know god made it very clear a few weeks ago that everything he gave me is not for me it's for his people and it's for church and it's you know and so i've really had to let go of that possessiveness of this is mine and it's been amazing because every time, you know, he comes to me with something like immediately there's a little resistance, but then my, I remind myself and I open my mind and it's a massive breakthrough and blessing where it's like, oh, that's such a good idea. And I just hit me now, like he's the associate pastor of the church. Like he's, he's the manager basically of the church. He's second in command and he's giving me all of the ideas and all of the objections and, and goals of what other churches are going to want because he's like my target person that I'm going to be reaching out to with other churches. And so this is an amazing client discovery process because he's telling me, here's what we want. Here's what we're looking for. How do we do it in this? And so it's like, God is training me how to get this out to churches. And I'm just like, oh, this is amazing. And then randomly he's like, Hey, where do you live? And he's like, I'll explain, like, I know that sounds random, but yeah, where do you live? And I told him, and he's like, would you ever be open to moving to OC, Orange County? And I was like, and it, well, he, he said, would you ever be open to that? Because I asked because um, we want to start the internship up again, um, but it'll be based out of Orange County. And we're going to be doing classes and stuff like that. And I would love to have you on my team because he's going to be running it this time. And I'd love to have you on my team because I think you'd be amazing at that. And I know we've talked about it in the past. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, listen, man, like I'm fully surrendered. Like wherever God wants to take me, I'll go. You know, he gave me the command to bring my passion and fire for him to the church and its people. So, you know, wherever that takes me, that's where I'll go. If it takes me to OC, that's where I'll go. Like 
I'm just fully surrendered to God and his plan right now. And so, and I'm on a month to month lease. So, you know, I'm open to <laughs> whatever. And so, yeah, I don't know. God is just, God's up to something as always. And it's something amazing. So yeah, that was a really good call. Helped me get a lot of mental momentum mental momentum of how to like really design this thing so yeah it's crazy because i was just writing it all out on the whiteboard so yeah he's he's ready to get it done so that's going to be my focus this week is getting this thing done so it's exciting very exciting and to be able to teach my own class would be amazing so yeah very interesting and going to OC it's a different it's a different pace of life over there um, we'll see if it happens I mean if it's if it's God's will it'll happen um, yeah I mean it's not far from here it's like 45 minutes so it's not like a, a huge dramatic move, but yeah, God, God's taken me somewhere and I'm just in the greatest state of surrender that I've been in. And you know, what's interesting is this feels a lot like when I gave away all my stuff and moved to Nepal, just total surrender. Like wherever my heart took me is wherever I went, like. Uh, I feel the urge to go there. All right, give away all my stuff, move again. Move, buy a plane ticket, go, go, go. And it was just like this amazing experience of surrendering and just like, all right, what's life gonna bring? What's life gonna bring? Um, and so I have that same kind of adventure feeling and excitement feeling of like, man, but now I, I'm surrendering to God rather than my heart. Um, and it's just a different experience, but it's exciting. And I just realized today, like, man, I, I feel that sense of adventure again, that sense of, ooh, what's what's coming next? Um, and it's a cool feeling. So amazing call. This just keeps getting better and better and crazier and crazier and more perfect and more perfect. And so, yeah, it's exciting. Very exciting.